Hello there guys, Wayne from Lunas World. Welcome to Queenstown in New Zealand. And in this video, um, we are going to be checking out how to install Ortho for XP, how to generate a tile in the new updated version of Ortho for XP. Now, this is one of the videos that has kind of made my channel um, popular, I guess. It's got the most views. So I'm basically doing an upgraded version. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump outside of the aircraft here and we'll take a look. Now this is default X-Plane. Um, you know, and it's not too bad. It's a very beautiful area, but we can improve on this quite dramatically with uh, using ortho tiles, uh, which is basically using um, high resolution images taken from various map sources um, within um, ortho for XP and then you superimpose it in here and create an overlay which will give you all of the auto gen on top of the uh, photorealistic um, ortho tile and thus giving you a very very nice high fidelity experience um, with beautiful scenery so let's check out how to do this without further ado let's get into the video okay so the next thing we're going to do is go to the link in the description that will take you to this google drive page and click on download this is going to download um, the latest version of ortho which is the windows installer um, version uh, 1.30 so you're going to want to save this to your desktop let that download once it's downloaded unzip it to the desktop and it's going to give you a folder that looks like this. Double click. Um, and all you need to do is go up to binary, scroll down, and you're going to see this icon right here. Author for XP version 130. Do a right click on that and create shortcut. And then just plunk that on your desktop like so. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the install. So double click on this icon here and you're going to open up um, two windows. And this is the first window that we really need to be concerned with straight away. Now, if you click on this, basically you've got a ton of settings in here that you can kind of finely tune various aspects of uh, the tile itself. Now, if you're anything like me, I don't really know what a lot of this stuff does. So I'm just going to leave it alone. If you do know what you're doing, you can set these different um, parameters here and you can save a configuration file for tiles and everything else. So we're not going to do that. What we are going to do, though, is select our custom scenery directory. Um, sorry, we need to click on this here and we need to select our custom scenery folder. So go to your X-Plane, wherever it's installed, and then click on your custom scenery. Click on select folder. That's going to put it in here. Now we need to go to our custom overlay. Okay, and this next one is really important. If you do not set this parameter here, or this folder, you're not going to get any overlays in your uh, sim, which means you won't have any auto gen on the top of your ortho uh, scenery. So click on this icon here. Go back to your main X-Plane folder. Click on global scenery. Clip on Global Scenery again, and then leave it here. Just select Folder, and that is now set. Um, you can write Tile CFG, and that's going to save the settings. Click on Apply, and then we can come out of that folder, that uh, window. Okay, so now we're going to actually select the area that we want to create. So click on the globe here. That's going to bring up the map. In order to move around the map, you need to um, go all the way down to right New click. Zealand. And one of the issues with this is that this map isn't very detailed. So if you click um, onto Google uh, Maps or something like that, target where wherever the area is for us it's going to be queenstown airport and kind of make a mental note of where it is to the big landmarks so any lakes or mountain ranges um, so queenstown is right sort of in the middle of this uh, lake here so that's actually quite easy to find so if we click around here that is going to be our area now unfortunately the tile here looks like it's right on the edge so for this i'm actually going to create two tiles um, and you want to make sure that this yellow area is uh, selected for the tile. Um, and the reason for that is because we are going to go back into the main window, which is this one. We're now going to click on this window here. 
and we're going to make sure that that tile is okay. So we've got some different options of map sources here. So we're going to try Google. I'll keep it on uh, zoom level 11 just for now because this is only a preview. We're going to click on preview. It's going to generate a map of the area um, and it's going to show you what you've selected. So um, that's really useful. So it means that um, we have missed the airport. The airport is actually here. So um, we have a choice. We can keep this tile here or we can reselect the tile below to make sure that we've got that airport. So that's actually what we're going to do. So we're going to go back into our uh, global position here. We're going to double click on this and we're going to click on shift to deselect that tile. Um, and that is how you select a tile, by the way. You click on, you hold down shift and double click on the area. But you need to make sure that the um, yellow area is selected by double clicking without shift so that you can do a preview. So now if we click on preview, let's go to Google again. We should see that now we have the airport included. Um, and this isn't going to be a great solution because we're so close to the edge of the tile here. So if I was doing this um, properly, I would select both tiles so that we have a seamless uh, transition between the two. Now, um, what you need to do is just scan around the tile and make sure you're happy with it. Make sure there's no areas of cloud, anything like that. To be honest, that looks pretty good. Um, this area looks a bit strange it looks a bit darker or there's some kind of shadow so what we can do is select another source let's try arc and preview and we can just compare and see what the difference is now this looks better to me um we might have a cloud there i'm not quite sure uh but other than that that looks pretty nice so i think that one is going to be the better one let's check bing as well preview and that looks pretty much the same yeah that's pretty much the same so um, I don't know let's go with uh, let's go with arc shall we and um, what you can do here is set perimeters around the tile or around the airfield now I'm not going to do this because um, it, it, it just a little bit fiddly and I want to kind of just get you up and running with uh, ortho for XP but if you say if you wanted the area around the airport to be say level 18 but the rest of the tile to be level uh, 16 then that's how you do it you can do that fairly easily here by um, creating these little areas I'm not going to do that what we're going to do is click on apply and just close this yep yeah, so now that we've done that we can now select uh, our source for real now. So we are going to go, we're going to go with arc and we're going to go with level 17 for the whole tile. Uh, now, there's a, a little word of warning here. Um, 16, 17 and 18 do produce quite large files. 18 obviously being the highest resolution, creating pretty huge tiles. So if you're only going to do one or two areas and you want the maximum amount of detail, go for level 18. But otherwise, 16, 17 and 18 are pretty good. So a happy medium for me is 17. Click back on the globe here. So then you're going to want to click on all of these checkboxes here. Um, and making sure that they're all checked, especially this one because we want the overlays to be extracted. Now you're going to want to make sure that you have this kind of red mesh in your uh, screen on, on this particular view in the tile there and then click on batch build. Now that is going to start the process in the background and you can see here that um, the airports are included, um, Queenstown being the most uh, important. So what you do is you just let this do its thing. It's going to take some time depending on your speed of your processor and the internet connection. But expect this to take, I don't know, at least half an hour, possibly more for one tile at around 17 depending. Maybe it's going to take an hour, maybe it's going to take two hours, maybe it's going to take 20 minutes. It really just depends. So I'll bring you back once this is done. Okay guys, so as you can see this ortho tile has finished uh, generating. It actually took uh, 1 hour and 11 minutes and this is the message that you'll see uh, at the very end of the process. You'll also see these three bars kind of greyed out 
Okay, so what you need to do is open up your Auto for XP um, folder, which will be on your desktop. Um, go to Tiles, copy whatever tiles you have created. Um, I'm going to cut them, and then I'm going to paste them into my X-Plane uh, Custom Scenery folder. Let's paste that in. And just to give you an idea of the size of these things, um, 7.3 gig that one and 6.8 gig for that one so pretty hefty old files that took a bit of a time to uh, copy across but that's kind of what you're dealing with uh, at level 17 okay so um, while that's copying across you also need to copy across your overlay tile um, or overlay folder here so um, I'm gonna again cut that and I'm gonna paste it into the custom scenery uh, folder and there it is so once this tile has copied what you're going to need to do then is to um, restart uh, x-plane and quit out of x-plane so just start it up once um, just to the main main screen and then and then hit exit okay so I'm going to quit that and what that does is it that populates um, the scenery into the um, the file the the any file um, so if we go back into custom scenery not the any file sorry the scenery config file so now we need to double click on this now this is quite important so these are the two uh, tiles that we have um, selected or, or created so what we're going to do is cut that and we're going to stick them on the very bottom uh, and basically because we want the everything else to be on top of these tiles these tiles are going to replace the ground textures essentially now your custom uh, your overlay uh, entry here needs to go above global airports and global airports is right here so we're just going to paste that in there um, save exit and uh, I'll see you in the sim okay so here we are back in the sim um, and let's uh, let's take off and check out the scenery so actually I think what I'm seeing right now is on the left side is where the tile uh, wasn't generated and the right side is where it is generated so let's get some altitude all right so here's quite a nice view out the window here you can see the ortho textures down there you can see the blending of the uh, water which looks very nice and we're going to continue to climb up and we'll see um, some of the views of the mountains over to the left here okay guys so there is a pretty nice view of the ortho texture um, covering this area now this tile doesn't cover the whole area as you can see um, this in the foreground I don't think is covered here but if you look off in the distance what beautiful uh, what beautiful um, mountains we have there so I've just hit C to go into free cam camera view so we can have a better look at the at this mountain range and you'll see the level of uh, detail that it brings to your sim um, I just think it adds so much more beauty um, let's have a good look around that looks fantastic and there's uh, the plane just crashing I think <laughs> but yeah so what you can see though is this edge here now that is because I didn't generate the second tile so let's just ignore that um, so this is a classic example of um, default blending or well not blending as it as it uh, appears on the screen going into an ortho tile so it doesn't look great so you do have to make sure that you the area that you want is within one tile otherwise generate um, another tile um, otherwise you see the result like this so and obviously you can see that stretch all the way down across right down to the horizon there come across here um, so it's a good fair distance but um, just make sure that you're again you, you can see this stark difference in color 
and that is stock scenery there and ortho tile here and right here as well so this example is is kind of uh, a little bit annoying in that the airfield is situated right on the border here so I purposely didn't do two because I wanted to show you this effect to make sure that you get uh, you know the desired um, areas that you want so guys I hope you found this useful um, please like and subscribe please share this with other people who might be interested in using the upgraded uh, 1.3 or, or 130 version of Ortho for XP. I think you'll agree it's uh, it's even better than the initial release, and um, I really like the features uh, that come with it. And uh, it's really not that difficult to do um, to create beautiful scenery in your X Plane 11 simulator for free. So, guys, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you very soon. Take care.